Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you had a very good weekend and that you're ready for holidays. Nice. Okay. Um, bueno, vamos a reiniciar siempre con la plataforma. Eh, esta es la plataforma y esta es la clase de ahora. Entonces, eh, that is it. Eh, en este momento les chequeo quienes faltan de hacer la plataforma. De acuerdo al file, a ver, ahorita les digo, vaya, falta Marlon Osvaldo, le falta, ya le digo, el examen final, nada más. Sí, tendría que hacerlo ahora o más tarde mañana en el día, porque eh, mañana es el último día. Y falta, ¿qué me faltaba? Creo que la persona, había otra persona, pero creo que ya está el día porque ya no me sale. A ver, ¿quién era? Sí, ya estamos al día. Solo Marlon ahí. Que tiene todavía hasta el día de mañana antes de la clase. Uh, just in case, ¿ok? Ok, we are going to check the attendance, my friends. So... Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Teacher, present. Ah, ok. Blanca Ruth. Ok. Eh, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fatima. Present, uh, I'm sorry. A Brenda, ok. Eh, y es que se me salió, ya me había conectado y estaba esperando que pase la lista, pero se desconectó mi internet. Ok, that's fine, don't worry. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Irvin Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Present. Good. Marlon. Present. Ah, okay, good. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa El Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Okay. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Okay, perfect. Ah, okay, got it. Uh, let me just check. Okay. Eh, bueno, mañana terminamos las clases. Recuérdense, no sé si ya recibieron. ¿Ya recibió alguien lo que le decía la encuesta de Insafor? ¿Alguien la recibió ya? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Ah, perfecto. Yes. Eso es lo que no han hecho, ¿verdad? no se ha hecho todavía. Oh. Good, good. Es la que vamos a hacer mañana, entonces. Ya vieron más o menos las preguntas. Ahora, quizá desde ahora lo que les recomiendo es que tengan, si nadie uh, o algunos no han hecho esta encuesta antes, es bien importante que tengan la información que les mandan en el correo. Si es posible, solo de copy y paste. Es decir, el número, eh, ahí en el correo está la información del el número de orden, el, el nombre del curso. Eh, también les pide el nombre de su empresa, pero es la razón social 
de su empresa, su número de teléfono, su correo, cosas por el estilo, ¿verdad? Entonces, es bien importante que lo tengan solo de copy and paste. Si lo quieren copiar de WhatsApp, no se puede porque copia todo el mensaje. Pero lo que uh -huh. pueden hacer es copiar el mensaje en un blog de notas o algo por el estilo. Y ahí sí ya lo va a dejar copiar solo la parte que les interesa. Entonces, eh, y mañana también vamos a ver un video de eso, pero eh, antes, eh, bueno, hacemos toda la encuesta con toda la información que se requiere y luego se toma un screenshot o una foto y se manda al grupo de WhatsApp y no se puede continuar la clase hasta que el último de las personas que está acá en la clase lo mande. Entonces, es bien importante que tengamos ahí todo esto en consideración. ¿verdad? Copy, paste, tengamos la información lista y recordemos, eh, si no sabe todo cómo tomar screenshot o cómo tomar una foto y mandarle al grupo, ¿verdad? Eso es bien importante. Good. So, vamos a iniciar con, eh, ahora nos tocan tres videos, vamos a ver dos ahorita mm -hmm. y uno al regreso del, al medio tiempo, digamos. Entonces, vamos a iniciar con los videos, como siempre. Sí, sí. Hola. Eh, yo tengo por acá un, un mensaje de WhatsApp, Ajá. pero... No me dice nada de qué es de solamente me dice YouTube.villa. Y ya dice allí de qué es encuesta, pero no sé si la ustedes mencionan. Sí, creo que sí, porque ese trae un, un video de YouTube con las instrucciones de cómo hacerlo. Ah, este sí, lo, es. A ver, el video de YouTube lo pueden ver si ustedes quieren para que vean más o menos qué es lo que tienen que poner. Lo que no se puede hacer es la encuesta. La hacemos juntos porque si va con un error, un punto de más, algo de más... A veces, o sea, no la agarra Insafor y sale como que no la han enviado y entonces pierden la beca. Bueno. Entonces, no es bueno. Pero el video, de YouTube, si ustedes quieren tener una idea de qué es lo que vamos a hacer en esos, en esos minutos, lo pueden ver, ¿verdad? Lo único que no tienen que hacer es la encuesta, es lo único. Eh, y las recomendaciones son esas, tener cómo copiar y pegar la información, más que todo esa información que les digo que es la, el número de orden, que eso va ahí en el correo, y uh, el nombre del curso, su razón social, eso es importante que lo tengan, eso de copiar y pegar, y uh, el video lo vamos a ver antes de la encuesta, y yo, o sea, voy a estar con ustedes, también se conecta una persona de soporte técnico por cualquier cosa, eh, llenamos la encuesta, mandamos el screenshot o la foto al grupo de WhatsApp, y ahí se termina todo. Ok. Good, good. Bueno, vamos a ver entonces el primer videito. So, eh, vamos a hacerlo como siempre. Vamos a, a verlo y luego vamos a comentar qué entendimos. ¿verdad? So, let's see how it goes. Hi, this is Sima. And today I will be bringing you a new lesson on how to talk about past actions or how to talk about actions that have occurred in the past. So basically this is an elementary learning on the past tense of verbs. Uh, let's look at a few pictures that pop up on our screen and and see how what what words depict these pictures. Well, what do you think she is doing? She is cleaning. And therefore, the base form of that verb becomes clean. Okay, let's take a look at the second picture. Well, it looks to me like someone's renting a video. And therefore, renting. Uh, in this case, the, the base form is rent. So I can say rent a video. The third picture, well, what's this person doing? Well, that seems like a couch potato to me, watching TV. Not a very good habit, but that's what she's doing and watching TV. In this case, the base form becomes watch. So watch TV is the base form of the verb, watch. Um, well, I can see someone in this picture, in this picture listening to music. And therefore, listen to music becomes the base form of the verb. Oh, that is a very hardworking person. And I know this person is working, working really hard. And therefore, work becomes the base form of this, of this, of this word. 
Oh, that's someone who is studying diligently. So I can say that study is the base form of this verb. Okay, next picture. Oh, that's a lot of hard work. Washing clothes. That, that is hard work, isn't it? Wash. So wash clothes becomes the base form of this verb here. And the next verb I can see is, wow, that's, that's really fun. Practicing a guitar. That, that's really fun. So the base yes, verb is practice. And oh well, that makes me hungry, doesn't it? Well, someone's cooking some really good food, and therefore the base form of cooking, the verb cooking, is cook. And that's some really hard workout that I can say there. Yeah, that person is exercising and the base form of that verb is exercise. Next picture. Oh, I see someone talking on the phone. That is a real shatterbox. Someone who really talks a lot. So talking or talk on the phone is the base form of the verb talk and i can see someone really cool calm and collected i would say that the person is relaxing and therefore relax becomes my base verb my base the base form of the verb relax um well now we're going to learn to use all these words in the past tense because we're going to denote actions that happen in the past okay so what are these words when they get converted to the past tense well clean we just saw someone cleaning so when I say someone has done something in the past this verb becomes cleaned so the past tense of clean is cleaned the next one, rent a video, rent, that is the base form of the verb. But if I have to talk about this in the past, I would say rented. So I rented a video last Tuesday. Third verb, watch TV, that's the base form. But if I have to talk about that in the past, uh, I watched TV uh, this afternoon. So. You know, it's kind of in the past. So I would say I watched TV. And my next um, base form of the verb listen can be converted to listened when I talk about it in the past. So I would call listen, I would, I would convert the listen into a listened I listened to music the fifth uh, base uh, verb or the base form of the verb is work but when I convert that into the past tense I get a worked the next one study in the past becomes studied Moving on to the next verbs, wash clothes, wash. If I had to talk about that in the past, that verb becomes washed. A wash and an ed added to the end of it. The next verb is practice, a guitar. Practice being the base form of the verb becomes practiced with a D at the end of the verb. So this becomes my past tense. Cook becomes, in the past, I cooked something yesterday night. So the cook has an AD added to the end of it when I want to denote something that I've done in the past. And the next verb is exercise, a lot of hard work. So when I talk about that in the past, I will 
just add a D to the end of it. And the next, um, the next verb is talk, which would become a talked in my past tense. And the last verb becomes a relaxed in my past tense. So these are the the past tense, or the or the, or the the words which talk about these actions that have been done sometime in the past. Now we're going to apply all these words in sentences and see how we can form sentences when we are talking about past incidents. All right, so we have already seen how we can use verbs in the past tense. Let's look at how we can now talk about actions that have happened in the past. Uh, well, let's look at two people, Mark and Sarah, uh, who have done quite a number of activities in the past week. And we will look at the questions and answer them and, and see how we can form sentences using the past tense. Well, the first question uh, tells us, uh, asks us, what did Mark do on Friday? Well, uh, let's have a look. Mark and Friday. Oh, well, Mark watched TV on Friday. So that is the past tense, watched, the verb, as you already know. And therefore, my sentence goes, Mark watched TV. Say last Friday. All right, so that is the past tense. So watched is my past tense. Now, uh, did you watch TV last Friday? Well, you did. Well, in that case, you would say, I watched TV on Friday. Maybe you'd play tennis. What would you say? I played tennis last week. Okay, uh, moving on to the next question about uh, our second person here, it says, what did Sarah do on Tuesday? Well, let's have a look. Sarah, um, Tuesday, yeah. She has cooked on Tuesday, okay? So our sentence will go thus. Sarah cooked, which is my past tense, on, uh, Sarah cooked last Tuesday. All right, um, now moving on to the next sentence. What did Mark do on Wednesday? So let's look at the table again, which talks about Mark doing, oh, he has studied on a Wednesday, he studied. So my sentence will be, Mark studied last Wednesday, perhaps. And my last question talks about Monday night. Well, what did Mark do on a Monday night? Let's have a look. Oh, he's practiced the guitar. That's very interesting, don't you think? Uh, well, so if I have to frame that sentence, how do I put it? I would say, Mark practiced a guitar or the guitar last Monday night. Well, uh, friends, I have a question for you too, okay? What did you do last um, Tuesday? You've got to tell me that by putting in a comment uh, in the box below and uh, let me know of what you've done in the past tense, of course. Uh, well, that's it from this lesson on how to talk about past actions. I will be coming back to you with some more lessons. Till then, goodbye. Ok, what did you understand on this one? Que aprendimos, que captamos, que entendimos. How to talk about a past action. Yeah. Nice. Espero que hayan puesto atención en cómo ella pronuncia. That is very important. Si ustedes se recuerdan, vimos varias pronunciaciones, tres tipos de pronunciaciones, y vimos cómo saber cómo se pronuncia una u otra. Ahora, el reto es en verdad hacerlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, acá era interesante poner atención en eso. Uh, any other comments? Any other thing? Teacher, the pronunciation, good, good. Mm, good. O creo sea, que... no, me refiero que eh, the gear, 
eh, pronun, pronun, pronunció muy bien, se le entendió. Sí, lo que pasa es que esta es gente que habla inglés nativo, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí se le puede ver. Y cuando uno, cuando, no sé si ustedes se han fijado, cuando nosotros estamos hablando, cuando yo les estoy hablando acá, les hablo despacio, ¿verdad? Así habla ella, tranquilo. En cambio, cuando es una, una conversación normal, a veces no sucede eso, ¿verdad? A veces ahí empiezan a hablar normal, entonces ya es un poco diferente, pero es, es interesante también ver cómo pronuncia cada persona. So that is very good. Any other comment? Okay. Teacher, uh, teacher, um, she ha she has she has talking about in sentences in past tense. Simple past tense. Uh, yes, yeah, simple past tense. Eso es lo que puedo entender. Perfect. Las oraciones en tiempo pasado, verdad, y ejercicio. Eh, de washing, todo eso lo que logré captar ok, very good sí, la verdad es que eh, hay varios tiempos por ahorita creo que solo hemos visto el pasado, el, el presente simple el presente continuo y el pasado simple y hay varios más, verdad la ventaja es que en inglés es más fácil que en español so, it's very important y videos como estos los van a poder encontrar ustedes también en YouTube estos días que no vamos a tener clase un rato, ¿verdad? un rato cada día. Vean, este video es de 11 minutos, pero pueden encontrar unos de 5, de 7 minutos. Y es bueno que vayan, vayan viendo las cosas que no se olviden de practicar. That is very important. Sí, este video está bastante entendible, teacher. Sí, ¿verdad? es lo que les decía bastante. también algunos compañeros que me dicen, mire, puedo ver videos, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Así, así, videos que se entiendan, donde hablen. Tanto. Está bastante adaptable a nuestro nivel. Ajá, hay videos, uh -huh. así, ¿verdad? hay de todos sí. los niveles, hay de todo tipo y podemos, podemos encontrar videos así. So, that is a very good one. Teacher, yo lo que eh, es, entendí, bueno, ya usted nos había explicado lo, del, lo de estas uh -huh. acciones pasadas, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Que usted nos presentó una lámina en los 10 ejemplos. Uh -huh. Entonces, ella convirtió el verbo en el que estaba, no sé si estaba en infinitivo o en presente. Uh -huh. y lo pasó a pasado uh -huh. y luego construyó algunas preguntas y respuestas That is it. como ejemplo esos son ejercicios también que podemos hacer nosotros verdad ustedes tienen un listado de verbos y empiezan igual también hay unos links que ustedes buscan ahí ejercicios del pasado siempre y va a ser bien fácil para ustedes hay muchos de esos, de este, hay bastante del de presente simple, del presente progresivo. Es raro los tiempos que no tienen algunos ejercicios, pero de esto hay muchos. So, we have the chance to practice. Good, vamos a ver un video más, pero este es cortito. Entonces, vamos a ver ya cómo nos toca. Me dicen que entienden esto. According to recent research by Ernst and Young, Graduates rank training and development above salary. A poll of 600 respondents showed that 41% of graduates view training and development as the most important consideration when weighing the benefits of working for a potential employer. As recently as 2007, salary was the top consideration. This change in priorities is likely a result of continued slow economic growth for employers tempering the salary expectations of graduates and emerging leaders and leading them to a place a priority on long-term career development. According to the head of graduate recruitment at Ernst & Young, despite the burden of university debts, today's graduates still see their first job as a prime opportunity to gain qualifications and skills which can benefit them long into the future. Simply put, Employers who fail to focus on improving human capital are at risk of losing their most talented workers. Employee Development Systems, Inc. provides tools and resources for employers seeking to maximize employee development to create a professional, highly productive workforce while reducing salary expenditures. Okay, y en este que entendimos estuvo diferente. Anybody? Mm. 
Nada, nadie está. Yo que lo los que... empleadores Yo lo que... buscan graduados con ciertas habilidades. Very good. That is very interesting. Nice. Uh, Blanca Ruth. Sí, este... Pero que también... Yo no sé si entendí así, pero... Eh, hay un perfil de entrada a lo mejor, pero que en la... En el trabajo, pues, se pueden seguir formando. No sé, algo parecido, ¿verdad? Ok, yeah. That is true. Good. Ese está un poco más complicado en primer lugar porque la persona que está hablando habla más rápido. En segundo lugar, porque no lo vemos hablar, ¿verdad? Entonces, así tenemos que poner bien atención en varias cosas. Pero es interesante si captamos algo. Aquí no es de entender de todo, sino de captar la idea principal. So that is a very good one. Okay, so we're going to continue with the book. This is still unit four. And it says, I will be able to ask an answer about past events in my workplace. And in the number one, it says, let's start. Where do trainings take place in your company? Aha, uh -huh, people. Where do trainings take place in your company? Where do trainings do training take place in your company? Who are the eligible people to get training at your place? Anybody? Hi, teacher. Hello. For example, in my work and my company, uh, training for the, for example, the, uh, the new system in computer. Okay, so on the computer, very good. Exactly, or, or uh, uh, more, more training, for example, in uh, seminary, the leaders, leaders. managers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Or oh, Ian and custom survey, the uh, two. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Okay, very nice, perfect. That is very, very good. Okay, and uh, any other comments? Uh, where do trains take place in your company, my friends? Yeah, well. Okay. My company uh, do uh, my company uh, mm -hmm. trainings in in uh, mul no sé cómo decir plataforma. Ah, in uh, platform. Uh, uh, in training in mul and team platform. Very good. Those platforms are very nice and you can personalize them. So it's a very nice thing. But perfect. And the next says, who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? So who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, in my eh, my company eh, is a eh, eh, department eh, recursos humanos, como, no sé cómo decir. Uh, human resources, they decide. Yeah, okay. and coordination. Okay, very good. So yeah, they, that sometimes happens. So not everybody is eligible for all the training. So they decide who is eligible for which training. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do the conversation. So, vamos a repetir. Vamos a hacer la como lo hacemos siempre. Everybody, please repeat. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hi, Hi Eric. Eric, how is, how going? is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. 
Hello, Mr. Lewis. Lewis. Mistress Lewis. Mr. Lewis. Mr. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. I am yes, just fine. fine. Thanks, Thanks for, for asking. asking. You're welcome. How was the training? You're welcome. You're How welcome. was the training? Was at the training? It was excellent. It was, it was excellent. excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. The speaker had a lot of experience. And he was very knowledgeable. And he was very knowledgeable. Okay, repitamos esa otra vez. Knowledgeable. 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 Okay. Knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. Yes, yes he, he did. did. And he used the computer to provide examples. And he, and he, he used the computer, computer to provide, to provide examples. examples. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? So, so everything, everything was, fine, was right. fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late. Well, he was, well, he was some, some minutes, minutes late. And we left very late. And we love very, very late. late. Good. Pronunciation questions, my friends. Ay. Knowledge ball. Sí, yo creo que esta palabra es... Bien, pero hay que partirla. Esta viene de knowledge, que es conocimiento. Knowledge, y luego le agrega able, que es la última parte. Knowledge no, able. Knowledge no able. Knowledge able. Knowledge able. No knowledge. Knowledge. Es con blue. O sea, es knowledge. Es que esta palabra es. La, son tres palabras. No. Ya sabemos que se dice no. Y si la unimos con conocimiento, sería hasta aquí. Knowledge. 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 Y de ahí le agregó la última, que es able. Knowledge able. Knowledge able. Uh -huh. Knowledge able. No sí, y es cuando vean palabras así largas, no que siempre son palabras compuestas que se unen con no dos palabras o tres. Entonces, para saber bien la, pronunci la pronunciación, solo tenemos no que partirla en las palabras que son y luego ponerla junta. ¿verdad? No any other, uh, any no other pronunciation question? Donde dice hello, la siguiente. Uh, va, este es un título. Eh, mistress, se escribe mistress, pero se dice mistress. ¿Cómo se dice? Mistress. 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 Uh -huh. mistress. Es bien importante decirla bien porque si yo digo mister, le estoy diciendo ahí a la señora, señor, ¿verdad? Ah, se va a enojar. So... Entonces no se pronuncia la tetich. ¿Cómo no? Mistress. Se pronuncia bien poquito. Mistress. Mistress. Good. Any other pronunciation question? Lewis. Lewis se pronuncia o Lewis. Um, Miss. Ah, Lewis. 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 Experiencia. Uh, experience. 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 It's very late. Okay. Experience. Any other? Provide. 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 Y este late se pronuncia late o late? No, late. 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 
plate. Ok, so let's practice. Let's see how it goes. Vamos a iniciar con Blanca Ruth y Carlos Domínguez. Ok. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Miss, Miss Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How, who was the training? It was excellent. Excellent. The speaker, excellent. The speaker uh, had a lot of experience, and he and he was very knowledge able. Did he provide right. provide examples of the topics he te talking about? about yes he did and he used a computer to probably provide probably provide examples sounds good so everything everything was fine right well he was some minutes late and we left very late <laughs> Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Alvaro, Ernesto, and Salvador Bernal. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You are welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable, able. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minute late and we left very late. Okay, very good, nice. Now Marlon Paniagua and Josman Serrano. <coughs> Who starts? You can start. Okay. I'm start. Yeah, please. Okay. okay. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. How is this going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a uh, lot of experience, and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. So good. So everything were fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Jocelyn, Amaya, and Catherine, Indira. Hello, Jocelyn. Okay, no possible. Entonces, Catherine. Ahí con, está, teacher. Uh, vamos a ver. Permítame. Sí, ¿Yo? puede iniciar usted y va con Irving Isaí, entonces. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is going? Hello, Mr. Slowis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide an example of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used the computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, 
he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Carlos Arias and Rolando. Okay. Hi, Eric, how is it going? Hello, Miss Mistress Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker and uh, her a little to of experience and the and he was very calm, no, knowledgeable. 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 Did he provide examples of the topic he talked he talk about? Yes, he did. And he used a comp uh, computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, very good. Perfect. Now, uh, Rosa, is it possible for you? Okay, and then says Rose and Edwin Antonio. Okay, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, Miss Lewis. I'm just fine. Thank you for asking. It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. And he was very knowledgeable. Continue con el otro. That's not a problem. Okay. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, I did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? where he was found in, like, and we left very late. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Now, Brenda de Villatoro and Fatima. Okay. Hi, Eric, how is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis, I am just fine. Thank you, thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very uh, knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did, and he used a computer to provide something. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was so many late, and we left very late. Okay, very good, perfect. Let's see, uh, Karen Sanchez and Blanca Jennifer. Okay. How is it going? 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 Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. And he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, 
he was some minutes late and we left very late. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Karen Jamilet, y como todo ya pasamos, le va a ayudar a ver Salvador Bernal. Ok, teacher. Okay. Hi, Eric. How, how is going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, very good. Perfect. Nice. So let's see. Recordemos que esta es mistress. Solo que la T se dice suave. Mistress. Porque si digo mister, le cambié todo ahí a la persona. Mistress. Señora. ¿verdad? Mister. Señor. Not the same. Um, experience. Knowledgeable. Y creería que lo demás está bien. Veamos algo de vocabulario. Um, bueno, ya le dije que este es señora, ¿verdad? Mistress. Um, knowledgeable. ¿Qué es knowledgeable? Ok, knowledgeable es que tiene mucho conocimiento, ¿verdad? Que sabe mucho. Good. Did he provide examples of the topics? ¿Qué es topics? Temas. 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 Very good. He talked about. Yes, he did. And he used the computer to provide examples. Sounds good. Solo el final donde dice, he was some minutes late. ¿Qué dice ahí? Él algunas veces llega un minuto tarde. Él llegó unos minutos tarde, ¿verdad? O sea, que le agarró la tarde ahí al a la a quien estaba dando la el training y luego dice and we left very late y ahí que dice y no fuimos muy tarde y no fuimos muy tarde no es bueno that, that's not good okay perfect so uh, do you have any questions on this one teacher este el ejemplo que usted dio de de esta palabra un poco complicada, knowledge, give, give, knowledge, eh, mm -hmm. no sé, puede utilizarse como experto también. Podría ser, sí. Ok. Ok, any other question? Ok, so let's do the exercise here. It says, what kind of event did Eric attend? Uh-huh. It's... What kind of event did Eric attend? A training. A training. Definitely, it was a training. Okay, number two. What did the speaker use to provide examples? Tópicos de conversación sería, no. Uh, yes, topics he talked about. Okay, very good. Uh, what did he, what did Eric not like about the event? Uh -huh. mm. What did Eric not like about the event? He was some minute late. Very good. Yeah, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Not good, right? So that was not good at all. Perfect. Very good. Uh, okay, so uh, antes de ver este, vamos a ver el otro video. Bueno, hay un video más. Uno más. Que vamos a ver. Okay, so let's pay attention. Y me dicen que entienden en el video. Quiero ver si hay subtítulos. Sí, ya se los puse. Ok. 
Here we go. Well, welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live here on SABC2. Now, the use of technology in the workplace has no doubt made a huge difference in terms of assisting, assisting workers on their day-to-day -day duties. But a new study suggests that machine learning algorithms can now produce better basic knowledge work than human workers. Now, jobs are at risk of becoming completely automated. The Sector Education and Training Authority largely focuses on workplace training and has therefore implemented the Workplace Skills Plan and Annual Training Report. Today in studio, we joined by Dr. Nishal Kandai. He is the COO at New Generation Mindset to tell us more on the skills and training that can be provided for workers in the workplace. Dr. Kandai, good morning to you. Good morning. To Thank you very much for coming through. Now, let's first focus on CITES. What are the CITES and how effective can they be in terms of, um, you know, providing necessary skills? The CITA is an acronym for Sector Education Training Authority. And what it is, it's a, it's a body, uh, an educational body that regulates, plans, and obviously oversees the training and skills deficiencies in the country. Is it effective? In my opinion, still a lot of work to be done. It's not addressing the unemployment rate in the country, and still a significant amount of training and skills transfer has to occur in areas where there's critical uh, and scarce skill shortages. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, uh, the CETAs, still a lot of work to be done. They do play a pivotal role, but not helping in great deal with skills development in the country. But are they, are they getting there, perhaps? Definitely. In various areas, there are quite a number of uh, CETAs, over 21 of them in South Africa, and a number of them are very effective and playing a prominent role in terms of skills enhancement, the governing of skills training and transfers. I think the greatest assistance the CETAs have played is in the granting of grants for internships and learnerships, mm. where they've enhanced youth to train in certain areas so as to improve the employability in the country as so well. So there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Definitely. But then now, on my introduction, I mentioned workplace skills plan and annual training. Yes. What exactly is that? Well, in, in South Africa, governed by the Skills Act, all companies that employ 50 or more employees would need to submit a workplace skills plan. And that's due during the course of April. In fact, submission dates close around the 30th of April. And all these big employees that have a large number of employees uh, above 50 and above uh, will need to comply by setting a plan of action to train their staff, their management, and there's a big focus on training non-white staff, what is categorized as black staff, which is Indian, African, and colored staff. Mm -hmm. So there's a big emphasis in putting a plan of action together where in the next year, companies would embark on training the staff, ensuring that they're skilled and that there's a knowledge transfer to enhance the employability of people as well as develop the skills as well. But then who takes an initiative in the company? Is it um, the employer himself or herself? Because I know with SCBC we have what you call PDPs, whereby you say, these are the skills that I think I, I need in the coming uh, financially. But who's supposed to take initiative in this regard? The, the onus is both on the employer as well as the employee. So the employer is obliged in terms of the workplace skills plan to ensure that they submit a plan. And that plan entails consulting with the employees, making sure the employees are well skilled. But there's a, just a large onus as well on the employees to make sure that they are also learning mm -hmm. and developing themselves as an employee in the organization as well in, in terms of increasing the skill. So it's an amalgam of both the employer and employee. Okay, so basically I must go to my employer and say, look, I think these are the skills that I require, but he must have a plan at hand. Exactly. to provide the necessary skills. Typically what an employer would do, like the SABC, they would look at what are the skills needed to take the organization to the next level, mm. what are the gaps. They would then assess the employees to see what is the current skill level and where the gaps are. So the training and the training plan for the next year, two or three years, is actually to address that gap and fill those gaps so that you have a competent and well-skilled workforce. Now, how can countries reduce their exposure to automation? Automation, I beg your pardon. I think automation is good. It uh, it brings about you know increased technology, really good for the economy. But if you look at South Africa, we need to get our youth as well as people between the ages of 25 to 35 working. Whether they have the skill or not, they still need to earn an income. Automation, in my view, will assist the economy in some ways but would reduce significant number of people in other areas, leading to higher retrenchments because we have a low skill base in many sectors. And with higher retrenchments, it goes negative against the economy, leading to higher um, 
unemployment and higher levels of unemployability where the youth, although they want to work, are unable to find work. So automation, good for developing e economies, very good for um, well-developed economies, may have an adverse effect in South Africa in the short run. Now, let's look at the BEE. How does this whole issue that we discussed in this morning um, affect the BEE programs that we have here in the country? The Workplace Skills Plan is actually governed by a separate act called this, the Skills Development Act. And although it relates and overlaps with Triple BEE, which is the broad-based Black Economic Empowerment Act, it's actually separate. The Workplace Skills Plan assists all employees in the workplace whereas the skills development component within broad-based black economic empowerment focuses more on the development of black staff. And the Act defines black staff as staff that are in the category of either African, Indian, or colored. Yeah. So whilst one focuses on all employees in the workplace, which is Workplace Skills Plan, the Black Economic Empowerment Act in terms of skills development focuses predominantly on black employees. They do lap, overlap in that it's both designed to advance and train people in the environment with a, with a strong focus of developing people that were previously disadvantaged in terms of getting their skill level, competency and abilities at the next level. So what do they do in this regard? Do they train SMEs? The, the Black Economic Empowerment Act is a guide that mm -hmm. prescribes to companies that they should uh, advance uh, employees within the organization as well as focus on supplier and enterprise development. Now, if you focus on em en uh, supplier and enterprise development, the large focus is to focus on startup companies and small medium enterprises. So hence, uh, a spend in favor of SMMEs to advance them to the next level, support them financially, assist with funding, and also to guide and coach them so that they can grow from small enterprises to large enterprises. So the deadline for companies to submit their training plans and reports is the 30th of April? It's 30th of April this month. However, the broad-based Black Economic Empowerment Act is ongoing mm -hmm. and uh, revisions on it will start from May onwards. Well, thank you very much. That's Dr. Nishal Kandai. He is the COO at a New Generation Mindset. We're taking a break. When we come back, Money Life continues. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, what did you understand on this one? You're watching the Business Channel. No, this is not. What did you understand on that one? Anybody? Any comments? Nadita. Sí, estaba un poco complicado porque, bueno, varias cosas, ¿verdad? Hablan súper rápido, bueno, no súper rápido, pero bastante rápido. El acento es diferente porque ellos son de África. So, definitely, ¿verdad? It's different. Y las palabras que estamos utilizando también son un poco complicadas porque son palabras un poco más, mm, más de negocios. Entonces, eh, eso hace un poco complicado, pero pues creo que se entendió que están hablando de trainings, de cómo eso ayuda en el trabajo de la automation, ¿verdad? Que se hagan cosas automáticas. Cuando ya estén allá en el intermedio o en el avanzado, ya vamos a hablar de esas cosas, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a sentarnos y vamos a platicar de cómo podemos automatizar, vamos a hablar de logística, de marketing, de recursos humanos, vamos a hablar de muchas cosas. So, that is a very good thing. Y eso es como un adelanto de las cosas que se vienen más allá. ¿Ok? So, let's check the attendance. Let's see. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villatoro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. 
Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Here. Good. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Present, teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to continue with the class. And uh, let's see, here we are. So, okay, let's continue with the book. How to use simple past, yes, no questions. Vamos a repetir. Everybody, please repeat. How to use simple past, yes, no questions. How to use, use simple past, past, yes, no simple past, yes, questions. Use simple past, yes, no questions. You simple past, yes, no question. question. To get information on past situations. To get information, information on past situations. Situation. Structure. 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 Did plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Did plus subject plus verb plus, 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 plus complement plus, 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 plus question mark. Nice. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Did the speaker yes. use a computer yes. in the speech? In the speech. Yes, he did. Yes, yes he, yes, he, he did. did. No, he didn't. No, no he, he didn't. didn't. Did the listeners ask questions? Did, did the listeners ask questions? questions? Yes, they did. Yes, yes they, they did. did. No, they didn't. No, no they, didn't. they didn't. Ok. Creo que aquí se entiende, ¿verdad? Que es algo que ya vimos, pues, el pasado simple en preguntas. Y la estructura, bueno, primero se pregunta, eh, se obtiene información acerca de situaciones pasadas. ¿Y cuál es la estructura? El auxiliar que es do, I'm sorry, did, luego el sujeto, luego el verbo, el complemento y la question mark que no puede faltar. Y hay algunos ejemplos. ¿verdad? Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? ¿Qué era speech? ¿Se acuerdan? Ok. Speech, discurso. Ok. Y la otra creo que está clara. Did the listeners ask questions? And that is it. Do you have questions about this? Pregunta dudas. <coughs> Ok, como no hay pregunta, vamos a hacer el ejercicio. Este está bonito. Número 5. Uh, write uh, simple past questions using the verbs and pronouns in parentheses. Take turns asking questions to you, uh, you wrote to your classmates. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es terminar las preguntas. ¿verdad? Allá está el complemento ahí y ahí está el sujeto que van a usar, que es you en la primera, y el verbo que van a usar, que es meet. Y simplemente vamos a complementar la pregunta. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer aquí? Yes. Ok. Entonces, les doy unos minutos para que lo terminen. Ahí arriba están unos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Está bien fácil. So, let's do the exam. Les doy los minutos y cualquier cosa aquí está. <coughs>
teacher Dígame. como todos todas son preguntas vamos a arrancar con el did ahí Exacto. did you meet your y así va a ser Ah, sí, fácil. y efectivamente Solamente. yes Yep. Mm, ok ok
Okay, did we finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's check together then. A ver, ¿quién me quiere decir el número uno? Number one. Okay, did you meet your boss yesterday? Very good. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Recordemos que la respuesta puede ser yes. I did. No, he didn't. Number two, ¿alguien más? Me teacher. Okay. Did she attend the Julie conference? Uh -huh. The Julie conference. Va acá. Uh, sería attend. No lleva attended. No sería con ed. Sería did she attend. Como ya lleva el auxiliar, entonces el verbo yeah. no cambia. Good. Okay. Number three. Alguien ahí number número tres. Did they stay in the, in the meeting last night, teacher? Very good. Did they stay in the meeting last night? Number four. Did he pass the test? Did he pass? Okay, did he pass the test? Good. Uh, number five. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Very good. Number six. Did it start on time? Very good. Number seven. Did they leave early? Very good. Did they leave early? Number eight. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Did he arrive on time on the, uh, to the conference? Very good. Perfect. Nice. Ok, este no lo vamos a hacer, eh, todavía no vamos a hacer este. Vamos a hacer una práctica del pasado simple a ver de cómo nos toca. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente, compañeros. You are going to write about your weekend. Vamos a escribir de todo lo que hicieron el fin de semana. En pasado, ¿verdad? El sábado temprano, se levantaron, fueron a esquiar, no sé, lo que hicieron, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa. Entonces, sábado y domingo, o lunes, lo que, lo que hayan hecho desde el sábado o desde el viernes hasta este día lunes, ¿ok? Eh, les voy a dar chance para que lo escriban. Si tienen preguntas de algo, me dicen. Y luego lo vamos a compartir con los compañeros. ¿Ok? ¿Questions about the activity? Ok. A escribir entonces, a practicar. So, les doy unos minutos y vamos a...
Ah, ok.
Ok, terminamos. Did we finish? Vamos a compartir entonces. In simple pass, let's see how it goes. Vamos a iniciar con Salvador Bernal. Ok. Last Saturday, my son and I went to the pool. He practices swimming for several hours. Then we ate chicken with rice for lunch. We returned home at home at 2 p.m. At night, I watched TV. On Sunday, I went to, to the church. We celebrate the day of the elderly. We were very happy sharing a lunch. At night, I, I saw the replay of Argentina and versus France. It was excited. Only that. Okay, very good, perfect. That was very nice. Thank you. Now, Alvaro Ernesto. Okay. I did. I did not. I did not work it on San or Saturday. And I go and I get up at eight. I am. I said yeah, I got up. Got and passed. I got up. Mm -hmm. got up. And then taking my breakfast in the in the afternoon. Sería, I did took, study I the, took my breakfast. Took and pasado. Okay. In the afternoon I did studies English and Sunday in the morning I did work. I did watch the final a World Cup. Ahí no tiene que usar el did porque no es pregunta. Sería I watched con ed. I watched the game. Ok, very no, good. Pero, pero aquí yo estoy lo ¿Ah? que hice. Exacto. Pero estoy afirmando lo que I did, Exacto. lo hice. Por eso no lleva el did. Ninguna afirmativa lleva auxiliar. Sería I watched, I ate, I went. Entonces, el did va solo cuando es negativa. I didn't go, for example. Y va cuando es pregunta. Uh, did you go? Pero cuando está afirmando, no lleva auxiliar. Ahí es donde tenemos que aprendernos los verbos. ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Now, let's see. Catherine Indira. Teacher, I am at work, so I have to disconnect. Ah, okay, no problem. no problem. Oh, just only uh, I can use, I can hear the class. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see Marlon Paniagua. Okay. Um, on Saturday, I got up late because I don't go, go, go to work. I didn't go. I didn't go to work. Work. Um, I spend time with my son. Uh -huh. We Pero le que solo one, we fix the, the, the house for for the holidays, and on Saturday we we went out the the Team Marine Museum and the Cuscatlan Park to go see the shows they put on there. This is all. Okay, perfect. That was very good. Thank you. Uh, Josman Serrano. Okay, teacher, one moment. Okay. Okay. The last weekend, um, day Friday, I work every day. At night, I had class in English. And the Saturday, I work at, and today, at night, we went dining with my friend at the chicken restaurant in Sonsonate. 
The next day in Sunday, I watched the World Cup final in the Argentina versus France. Winning, winning Argentina, more not my favorite team. And the afternoon relaxing and diner, we went eating pupusas of, of comal to Isalco and red chocolate. Very good, eh? It sounds very nice. Perfect. Thank you, Jasmine. Good teacher. Now, Blanca Ruth. Okay. I last Sunday, I get up late. Got up. Get up late. Then prepare, prepare breakfast. My family and I had breakfast. We did watching the game between Argentina and France. At the end, I went to the chores. Sure, we had lunch at the San Martin restaurant. Um, um, see Okay, very good, perfect. That was very nice. Thank you. Now let's see uh, Carlos Dominguez. Uh, not possible for Carlos. Okay, uh, Rolando Cáceres. Okay. On Saturday, I woke I woke up at six a.m. because I had to work this last Saturday. In the afternoon, I went to the mall and I bought Christmas gifts for my nephew and my niece. And at night, I watched Avatar on the cinema. And then I ate Mexican food. On Sunday, um, I watched the final of World Cup. And then I started, started for my exam for this Friday. And I did my homework. Perfect. Very good. Very nice. Thank you. Now, uh, Rosa del Carmen. Okay, not possible for Rose. Uh, Edwin Antonio. Yes, teacher. So my last Saturday was good, but I had to run because I was late for some activities to do. So I woke up early, but I got up late because I watched a series on Netflix. I spent my time on Netflix. Mm -hmm. When I saw the club, I had to run because I had to meet with my friends at noon. And I was late. He waited. He waited me around one hour. And he was angry when I went with the with he. But at the end, um, he was happy because I had to pay all the dinner, right? Okay. That is all. <laughs> Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's check with Fatima, I mean. Not possible for Fatima, okay? Uh, Karen Sanchez. Not possible for Karen. Uh, Jennifer Torres. Okay. On the weekend, I worked on Saturday. The day was very busy and tired. On Sunday, I got up late and I visited husband and family and we watched the games workshops. 
and ate pizza. We was happy because Argentina was going. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Carlos Arias. Saturday I worked here on the 4 p.m. At night we went to Christmas festival for my family. We spent an afternoon night on and on Sunday I got up late and no watch the final the, the work up and the afternoon I helped my father I work and on Monday I work normal post to visit my parents and at night I am in the class. Okay, very good, perfect, very nice. Eulice Torres. Okay. I mean I always work on Saturdays until two PM. So last Saturdays I I woke up at 6 a.m. Then I took a shower for 10 minutes. And after that, I ate um, some pupusa with my mom very quickly because then I, I have to work. So after that, um, I drop for seven for forty eight minutes, and I worked uh, ten hours. And after that, I went to Walmart because I need to buy something. Then I returned to my house, my home, and um. In my home, um, I I speak I spoke with my mom about my work my work because I uh, I have uh, some problems and then uh, we went to the short for four hours and after that I returned to my house. Okay, very good, perfect. That was very nice. Okay, uh, Irving, is a... uh, well, on Saturday I arrived at I my at my house from work after a very heavy work shift. I arrived at my home. My mom prepared my breakfast, and after that I saw the television for a while. After that I went to the bed and I slept until 5 p.m. I got up and, take, and took a shower, later I get dressed, and later I went to the church, and then I went to the park to buy, to buy a smoothie. After a while, I returned to my house and I played on my cell phone. I had dinner, later I brushed my teeth and I went to the bed. The next day, I woke up at 9 a.m. I wanted to continue sleeping, but I wanted to see the World Cup final. I really enjoyed the whole game because it was very exciting for, and for a moment, I thought my Argentina would lose the game, but in the end, they was world champion. After that, I went to buy tortillas, and later I, I had lunch, and in the afternoon, I went to visit my friends. I ate some tacos, and at night, I returned to my home, and I slept. slept. Okay, very good, very interesting, very nice. Now, just to finish, Karen Jamilet. Okay, teacher. The last weekend, and Saturday, I was to spend a lot of time with my family. In the afternoon, I was celebrate the birth of my husband and my kids. And we ate cake. We 
had a fun with the family, with all family. And the Monday and the Monday, I was work all day. Mm, okay. Okay, very good, perfect. I'm sorry that you had to work, but that's the way it is, right? So yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, very good. You did a very good job with the simple pass. So, I guess we have time for a little conversation here. So, it says write an email recommending a workshop or training using simple past. So, the first question says, when was the last time you attended the training? So when was the last time you attended a training? Anybody? One year ago. One year ago. Okay, that is a while ago actually. Good. And what was the training about, Irving? It was about the security aviation. Okay, very good. Interesting. Very nice. Thank you. So now we're going to do the conversation. Vamos a repetir todos. Creo que no alcanza el tiempo. Everybody, please. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. This is Jack. How are things going at work? How are, How are things going at work? Are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. Hello, everything, everything, everything is fine. fine. Thanks. How about you? How about, How about you? you? Just perfect. Just, Just perfect. perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. I Look, want to know if you attended, attended and training last, last year. Training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. We are, we are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. The training, the training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Sounds good. Where did it take place? Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. It got held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. Most of us were pleased. Most of us were, were pleased. With the speakers and practices. With the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. I personally learned a lot. A lot. Pronunciation questions. No questions. Teacher, absolutely. 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 Any other? Absolutely. Uh, attend. Eh, Como es pasado sería attended. 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 The last line, what pronunciation I person, personally? I personally learned a personally. lot. Personally. 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 Thank you. Helpful. Helpful. Uh, helpful. 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 Okay, let's help. practice. Uh -huh. Sorry. 
donde Julie is what in hell? ¿Cómo es él? ¿En dónde? En la sexta línea creo que Julie. Ajá. Abajo de ahí. Sí. Held. 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 Yeah. Held. ¿Se pronuncia con D o con F? Held. No, con, con D. Held. A held. Held. Perfect. So let's practice, my friends. Álvaro and Blanca Ruth. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. Who are things going to work? Hello, yeah. Everything is fine. Thanks. Oh, about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year, we are sending the invasion Invitation. for the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did the training. I attended was about first aid and prevention. So good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend, recommend? Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of you were. Please, 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 with the speaks and practice. I personally learning a lot. Okay, very good. Now, Salvador Bernal and Marlon Paniagua. Hello, hey. Julie. This is Jack. How are things going? Work. Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Sorry. Hello. Just perfect. Look, I want to know Grande. if you attending a training last year. We are sending the, the invitation for the new one. Uh, yes, I did the training. I attended. I attended was about their side a presentation. Sound good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crow Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend them? I mean the train. Did you find do you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Mad of were placed uh, with the speaker and the practice. I personally learned a lot. Okay, very good, nice. Now Josman and Carlos Dominguez. Hi Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? You're perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training. I attend what's about first a and presentation. So good. Where did that take place? It was held at the Crow Plus Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you think it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of you were placed 
with the speakers and practice, I personally learned a lot. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, uh, Rolando and Rosa El Carmen. Es posible, ¿verdad? Para Rosa. Hello, Rose. Okay. Mm, okay, creo que no. Okay, le va a ayudar entonces Edwin Antonio, Rolando. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are, how are things going at work? Oh, yeah. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about the first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where do you take place? It will head at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were places with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Of, a lot. Very good. Nice, perfect. Now, Fatima and uh, Karen Sanchez, is it possible for you? Not possible. Hi, Julie. Perfect. Uh, okay, teacher. Okay, and Fatima, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How are how about you? Just just perfect. Look. I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did I where did it take place? It was held at the Crow Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were placed with the speakers and practice by personally learning a lot. Okay, nice, very good. Now, Jennifer and Carlos Arias. Hi, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. How about you? It's perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended on training last year. We are training the for the new one? Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you comment? Recommend it? I mean, the training did you find is helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of them were present with the speaker and practices. I personally learned a lot. Very good. Perfect. Now, Eulise and uh, Irving is ahí. Hi, Julia. This is Jab. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? That's perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. 
the training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find it helpful? Yeah, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speaker and practices. I personally learned a lot. Very good, perfect. Now, just to finish, Karen Jamilet, y como ya pasamos todos, le va a ayudar a ver. Um, Jennifer. Okay, teacher. Who start? Um, a ver. You can stop. Can you let stars? Who? Karen. Study needs you. Okay. Okay, okay. Hi, Jewel. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if, if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, uh, absolutely. Most of the work placed with the speakers and practices. I personally learn it a lot. Very good, perfect, nice. Just about pronunciation. Remember, this is attended. And uh, let's see. Held. Uh, absolutely. This is us. Most of us were pleased with the speaker and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay, eh, como ya se nos fue la hora, eh, la hora de la clase, vamos a ver lo demás el día de tomorrow. Do you have any questions before we finish? No. Perfecto. Mañana terminamos clase, eh, entonces va a estar nice. Terminamos el libro, terminamos la clase. Let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Álvaro Ernesto Álvaro Reyes. Present here. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present. Good. Eh, Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. El eh, bueno one de ahora es para Rosa del Carmen, por si acaso. Uh, Present Rosa, teacher. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villatoro. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. Jocelyn Esmeralda. Uh, I'm here, teacher. I'm here. Irving Cruz. Okay. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Good. Joshua Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Present. Good. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. 
present. Present teacher. Present. So my friends, it was very good to be with you. Uh, tomorrow we have the final class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night and dream in English. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello, Rose. Hello. Eh, bueno, estos son los one on one que siempre tenemos al final de las clases y solo algunas cosas, ¿verdad? En primer lugar, le quiero preguntar cómo siente que va. Siente que va, ha aprendido algo, que va agarrando algo ahí en la clase. Uh, very good, perfect. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta o duda en cuanto a las clases o alguna pregunta de inglés en general que siempre ha tenido y quiera solventar? Pues no, en general, pues prácticamente todo me ha quedado bastante claro. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, sí, nosotros siempre les recomendamos, ¿verdad? En primer lugar, si tiene preguntas, ahí en el chat se puede, directamente conmigo o en el grupo. En la clase también si tiene preguntas, se pueden ver. Y uh, hay que ir, yo siento que va bien, eh, habla bastante bien, tiene buena pronunciación. Entonces, uh, solo es de seguir practicando. ¿verdad? Y si algo le cuesta, ya sea algo de gramática o si de repente siente que le cuesta hablar o el escuchar o la lectura hay ejercicios que puede ir haciendo ¿verdad? ya sea en internet, puede ver videos puede hacer dictados ahí en una hoja de Google uh, Documents, algo por el estilo hay muchas herramientas que puede hacer y lo que les recomiendo es que aun cuando no haya clases porque entramos a época de vacación que tratemos ¿verdad? de ir, de ir uh, practicando poco a poco Muy bien. Okay. ¿alguna otra cosa que pueda hacer por usted? Pues no, prácticamente todo me ha quedado claro y sí como dice usted, va. sí siento que me cuesta un poco bastante en la escucha, pero sí me, como usted me recomienda, va. voy a ver, voy a tratar de ver más videos para poder ir mejorando mi, mi escucha y con la pronunciación igual. Very nice, pero va bien, va bien, entonces espero que pues, continúe y que finalice y que pues nos podamos ver allá en inglés en alguna otra parte. Very good, so see you. Uh, tomorrow, have a good night. Good night. Bye. Thanks.